Media. It's your girl Lenny Lynn right here and of course I'm back with this new video. This time around I'm doing a demo and a product review for the On Jackie's Flaxseed Recipes Don't Shrink Flaxseed Elongating Curling Gel. Now of course this curling gel has been on the market for quite some time now but this is my very first time ever trying it and I see a lot of girls are starting to try gels that have flaxseed and even making their own flaxseed gels. You know shouts out so all the flaxseed lovers out there. And this is my opportunity to actually try this gel particularly that has flaxseeds in it before I make my own concoction. So hopefully it is a win-win across the boards. Now what I'm going to do is show y'all the specs of this bad boy and show y'all the first five ingredients. So please stay tuned to this video and let's see how my curls will react to this styling gel. I also want y'all to know that my hair has also been freshly shampooed and conditioned. So let's hop on into this thing, okay? Of course, you're looking at the On Jackie's Don't Shrink Flaxseed Elongating Curling Gel. This is sulfate-free, paraben-free, mineral-all-free, and it also has no petroleum. This is enriched with flaxseed and wheat protein. It claims to actually keep your curls really elongated and give them nourishment throughout the weeks and the days to come. So here are the very first five ingredients. This gel claims to be very promising as you continue to use it for any type of style that you want to achieve such as braid outs, twist outs, and even bantu knots. So let's see how it rocks out. So I am going to open it up for the very first time. And this smells a whole lot like the Curl La La from On Jackie's, another very classic throwback product from the On Jackie's line. But I'm going to let y'all know that the Curl La La did not work well for my hair at all. And I tried that like um, early on when I was natural, probably a year and a half to two years into being natural. I tried it like throughout that whole year, two year mark. And my hair hated it. I would say that it don't have like a custard feel. It has more like a, um, a melted jello feel. And it doesn't have a sticky feel at all. So it's almost like I'll say an aloe vera gel. And it's nowhere near a equal styler. So let's apply it to the hair and see how it rocks out. my hair with the gel I was a little bit optimistic about it because I felt like maybe this gel was not going to give me defined curls and I also felt like maybe I should have used a leave-in conditioner with the gel but on the ingredients it does not even say that you need a leave-in at all so this is a gel that you can just apply to just clean dry or even damp hair and just do your thing whatever type of style you want to try to get achieved so that was really different for me so a gel that does not require any type of leave-in is like kind of like amazing but at the same time it's scary because you don't want to waste all your time trying to do a wash and go especially to define your curls and it ends up being a hot just flaky mess but my results were okay from this so y'all just keep on watching and y'all gonna see what I'm talking about what my curls currently look like I have like some finger coils because like my hair wasn't like holding a curl the way it needed to even though it's not heat damage going to be back first thing tomorrow morning to show y'all the finished results it's really late right now I don't know what time it is probably like after 10 o'clock ish so I'm just going to put a t-shirt on top of my head and then I'm gonna follow up with stretching my hair with my concentration nozzle on my diffuser and of course y'all will see the final results 
come tomorrow morning. So, yes, y'all, please stay tuned. So, you guys, I'm back. It's the next day, and I want y'all to know what are my honest thoughts about the gel. First off, I want to say that I am very very happy with the turnout of my hair now it is really compact and it's like a little bit stiff but I can say that I have movement and I can say that my curls do not have a gel cast and the shine comes from the gel I did not even use any oil I'm going to do a turnaround so y'all can see you know my full head too so y'all just keep watching for that but um yes so far so good with this gel now as far as elongating that's a lie because i don't see where it elongates the curls at i even use a concentration nozzle on my hair my hair type my hair texture and my hair still shrunk up so my hair really love the hydration from this gel but as far as my hair holding on to the elongation from the gel like my hair should be elongated it's not and hmm, that's kind of like really elongating nah so that's not something to wear it, it really and truly does do but I feel like if I would have did like a braid out even though I don't do braid out so I twist out with it the elongation possibly could have still been there um as far as my honest thoughts on the product the smell does not linger so it is you know really nice I have pillow soft curls no tacky no crunchy feel I used a t-shirt to dry my hair and then I actually went in with using my concentration nozzle on my blow dryer to finish it off and this is my first day hair so let me turn around so y'all can see that is the end of this video i do want to thank y'all so much for watching and rocking with your girl if you have not subscribed yet then what you waiting for girlfriend what you waiting for boyfriend join the winning team over here and remember to keep god first in your life and in everything that you do and the results will always follow i'm signing on out of here if you want to get that conversation popping with me in that comment box below then let's get it popping honey all right i would love to talk to you all right i'm signing on out of this thing and have a bless on y'all Bye bye. Hey, wait, and before you go, discover me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Wattpad at Lenny Lynn.